This is a review on the Bag Boy Quad XL. Something really nice about this cart is when I pulled it out of the box, it was just ready to go. I mean, no tools, no nothing. You just push it in and go. This is how small and compact, whether it's folded or unfolded, especially when you compare it to my Clickier Model 4.0. The footprint on this is drastically smaller, just the width, length, and everything about it. Really leery about with this four wheel cart was actually the four wheels. I thought turning and pivoting was gonna be really challenging with this cart. It does seem like they have the center of gravity a little bit shifted in the back. So it actually, the front wheels probably have, I would say, 40% of the weight on it. And it's able to really maneuver and turn these pretty easily considering it is four. It also turned a lot sharper than my three wheel due to that shorter wheelbase. So the best feature on this bag is this top lock system. I mean, if you have a bag with this system, it's unbelievable. How easy it is just to put your bag in and out. Literally, it just takes seconds to put your bag in there. As you can see here, I shook this thing. I pushed this thing around. I played a couple rounds of golf with it. Not one issue with this thing moving or coming undone. And it's so easy, you just drop it in there and it's ready to go. I say to go from the back of my car to fully set up with the bag on the car. It might take 30 seconds to undo the cart and drop this bag in there. There's no better system out there, to be honest with you. So if you do have a Bag Boy bag or one of these Detrick bags, I believe it's pronounced, I would definitely highly suggest just getting any of these Bag Boy carts because this feature alone is worth the headaches of the straps and the twisting and turning that, that I deal with on my normal bags. Do you have a bag without the system? Big knock on this, it does just have these Velcro straps on here. And we all know after you get some grass in there, that Velcro is completely useless. So it is kind of a bum that they come up with a better system for people that don't have that feature. As great of a feature as it is, it's disappointing if you're not in their ecosystem, I don't know if I would get this cart due to that. So it's funny with this cart, and I don't know if this is how it's made, and I got this straight out of the box like this, is that it is actually you have to twist it for the Velcro to work. So actually the Velcro straps weren't even put on correctly. I did find kind of the con on this is how easy it was to push this cart around with the brake engaged. See here, I'm pushing with two fingers, and I'm having no problem pushing this cart along. So I don't know how well that's gonna work on any steep hills. I wasn't able to find any to try out, see if it would hold it. That is something to think about when you're thinking about this. Wasn't able to see if I could adjust that brake any. On numerous times when I was playing, I was pushing the car, I was just like, God, why is this not rolling as easily? And then I realized the brakes are on. So it does come in about five different colorways. I did just pick up a classic black and white with blue accents, because personally, that's just what I like most of the choices that were provided. It comes in about $270, so it's about the average price of a push cart, I say, these days. Downside of this is it does have this cup holder here, but someone with my height, sometimes if you tilt it up or down, I feel like the drink could spill out. So with one of these large insulated water bottles, and there's no way I was able to fit that in there. Thankfully, it does have this pouch on the back end, which allowed me to push it to hold my water bottle in there along with any like snacks or anything. Anything quick to get to. In the little storage compartment of this thing, it does have three slots for your balls, but I tested it out. They kind of didn't stick there very well. They rolled around, so honestly, you're better off leaving your balls either in your bag or in your pocket or in that pouch right there. Those, those didn't seem to work as well as compared to my other carts that I have that really lock in there. They just kind of sit there and easily roll around. It does have these padded handguards on there, that which most bags have these days, but it is nice. So some with bigger hands, gave them a little more bolt. So overall, I definitely highly recommend this bag is definitely worth checking out it might be better than my click gear bag that I adore quickness and easiest is set up especially if you have a bag that's compatible with that top lock feature so if you would like to see a review on this bag that I'm using go ahead and click here if you would like to see a review on another push card I've done go ahead and click here and I'll see you in the next one